The best indicator combinations in Forex, stock, and cryptocurrency trading. In this video I will show you the three killer combinations for trading strategies to identify the strongest and most profitable trends to trade. As always, this video provides a clear, winning, step-by-step -step guide to how to successfully trade in the Forex, stocks, commodities, or any financial markets and generate consistent profits. So, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly when to enter high probability trade using the best killer combinations for trading strategies. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. What is the most accurate trading indicator? Identifying the best trading indicator combinations can help your trading strategy immediately improve. Technical indicators help traders analyze currencies, stocks, cryptos, and other tradable assets. With the right combination of technical indicators, you can predict whether a speculative asset is likely to increase in value. So, in this video we will show you which trading indicators you can combine to get the best results. We also encourage the use of two to three indicators simultaneously before deciding on a trend and what action to take. You learned about the technical indicators and saw examples of how they work individually. But, as we mentioned in the previous lessons in this course, the best way to build a forex and stock trading strategy is to combine indicators. Now let's take a look at three winning combinations of forex, stock, and crypto indicators in order to wrap up this subject. First, EMA Parabolic SAR Trading Strategy. In this section, we are going to learn how to use a parabolic SAR indicator, along with two moving averages trading strategy to catch new trends on the reversal. This EMA parabolic SAR trading strategy will show you how to use the parabolic SAR indicator effectively, and how you can add this trading system into your daily trading techniques. The combination of these indicators will give you accurate trend reversal setups. This strategy can be used on any time frame on your chart. So day traders, swing traders, and scalpers are all welcome to use this type of strategy. Here are the indicators you need to apply on your chart to use this trading strategy. First, Parabolic SAR Indicator, Default Settings. Second, 40 Length Exponential Moving Average, Blue Color in our example. Third, 20 Length Exponential Moving Average, Lime Color in our example. EMA Parabolic SAR Rules for Short Trades. Rule number one. Apply parabolic SAR and moving average indicators to your chart. You can choose different colors for the indicators. Rule number two. The moving averages must cross over. In a short trade, the 20 period moving average will cross and go below the 40 periods moving average. Rule number three. The parabolic SAR indicator must change to be above price candle. Notice how the dots were below the price. The parabolic SAR formula showed us that the price stalled out for a few candles and then the dot appeared above the candle. This is a sign that a reversal may be forming. Since the moving averages are telling us that a downtrend is most likely going to occur, we will wait until the dot appears again above price candle to validate this reversal and enter a trade. Rule number four. Parabolic SAR dot must be above price candle and moving averages cross to where 20 period moving average is below 40 period moving average. Note, one of these elements may occur before the other. The reversal dot can appear before the moving average lines cross. Or the moving averages can cross before the reversal candle. As long as there are both elements, the entry criteria are met. Rule number 5. Enter the next price candle. Enter sell the very next price candle after the dot appears above the candle. Waiting for one candle after makes sense because this proves to us that this reversal is strong. The moving averages are supporting the downtrend, and the dot is signifying a downtrend. Rule number six. Stop loss and take profit. Simply set and move your stop loss to the price level of each dot in the direction of your trade. Rules for long entry. Rule number one. Apply parabolic SAR and moving average indicators to your chart. Rule number two. 
the moving averages must cross over. In a long trade, the 20 period moving average will cross and go above the 40 periods moving average. Rule number 3. The parabolic SAR indicator must change to be below price candle. Notice how the dots were above the price. The parabolic SAR formula showed us that the price stalled out for a few candles, and then the dot appeared below the candle. This is a sign that a reversal may be forming. Since the moving averages are telling us that a downtrend is most likely going to occur, we will wait until the dot appears again below price candle to validate this reversal and enter a trade. Rule number 4. Parabolic SAR dot must be below price candle and moving averages cross to where 20 period moving average is above 40 period moving average. Note, one of these elements may occur before the other. The reversal dot can appear before the moving average lines cross. Or the moving averages can cross before the reversal candle. As long as there are both elements, the entry criteria are met. Rule number 5. Enter the next price candle. Enter by the very next price candle after the dot appears below the candle. You can see on our chart where we entered the trade. Waiting for one candle after makes sense because this proves to us that this reversal is strong. The moving averages are supporting the uptrend, and the dot is signifying a uptrend. Rule number 6. Stop loss and take profit. Simply set and move your stop loss to the price level of each dot in the direction of your trade. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Second, Moving Average and ADX Indicator Trading Strategy. The new MADX Cobra Trading Strategy is an extremely low risk, high reward strategy if you use it properly. The only thing that could make this system fail over the long term is you not sticking to the rules. The MADX Cobra system is incredibly simple and easy to use. Once you are used to it and have made a few trades with it, you'll find that you're spending very little time actually running with this system. System Setup This is in general a very clean system. When you look at the chart setup, you'll notice that there are in fact very few lines and indicators drawn on, which means the chart is very uncluttered and easy to read. There are actually only three indicators used in the whole system, even though initially it looks like seven. I've listed the individual indicators you need, and then I'll explain what each one does. First, 200 period SMA, or simple moving average, applied to the typical price average of high, low, and close. 200 period SMA, calculated off the high of each candle. 200 period SMA, calculated off the low of each candle. Second, 10 period EMA or exponential moving average, applied to the typical price average of high, low, and close. 10 period EMA calculated off the high of each candle. 10 period EMA calculated off the low of each candle. Third, 5 period ADX, or average directional movement index, applied to the typical price average of high, low, and close. Our entry signals. We need to decide upon our reasons to enter the market in whichever direction the trend is telling us to go, and this is where the 10 exponential moving average enters the system. To keep it simple, I will call the 10 exponential moving average the blue line from now on. You'll notice on both the black and the blue, I've used three lines. A thick inner line, with two thin outer lines on either side. The inner line is the true moving average, which represents the average typical price over the last 200 or 10 candles respectively. If the price is ever inside the buffer zone of either moving average, it's classed as a no trade zone, and we do not enter the market for any reason. But, as soon as the price moves outside of the buffer zone, we are looking for entry signals. And the basic entry criteria are very simple. First of all we need to see whether we are above or below the black line, so that we know which direction we are supposed to be trading in. For this example we are saying that price has moved above the black line. So if we are above the black line, we wait for the price to close outside and above of the blue buffer zone. You should notice that the price has moved above the black zone, which means we are now only going to take long trades. We then get a candle which breaks out of the blue buffer zone and closes above the outside edge of the blue zone. And now, trade filters. 
Filtering out bad trades has become the search for the holy grail for all traders. Unfortunately, there is no way to avoid all the bad trades. It's a guarantee that we will run into bad trades and occasionally lose. We can't completely eliminate that. And now, I want to show you the important part, how we use the 5 period ADX to help filter good trades from bad trades. When the 5 period ADX line is below the 40, it means there is no trend. When the 5 period ADX line is above the 75, it means there is an extreme trend. When the ADX line is moving upwards, the trend is gaining strength. When the ADX line is moving downwards, the trend is losing strength. Whenever we see the signal candle, we immediately look down at the ADX to see where the 5 period ADX line is. If the ADX line is below the 40, we do not trade, regardless of anything else. We only consider entering a trade if the ADX line is above the 40. As you can see, the ADX is a very simple indicator and very easy to use as a filter to protect the system from bad trade entries. Stop loss. Most people think that the most important thing when trading is to make money. Wrong. The most important thing is to not lose money. If you've been trying to trade for some time now, you will already realize that it's very very difficult to avoid bad trades. It's actually very easy to keep entering trades that go wrong, one after another, and take lots and lots of small losses. And those small losses can quickly add up to one very big chunk of your trading capital washed down the toilet. Remember, no system is perfect, so, wherever I enter a trade, I draw a straight line back to the blue zone, and place my stop at the outside the blue zone. Exit strategy. The exit is simply signaled when the price crosses and closes on the other side of the blue zone. So suppose you are in a long trade following the trend up. You would close out of the trade when the price crosses back down through the lower blue zone. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Here are other examples of the new MADX Cobra trading strategy. Third, Volume Indicator Trading Strategy Candlestick charting is one of the most effective ways of interpreting prices and emotions of other traders when trading the market. Knowing how analyze candlestick charts can help a trader to determine whether a trade is likely to be profitable or not. Candlestick charting primarily highlights price movements of a currency, derivative, or security over time. This style of charting is mostly used in combination with volume bar charts for technical analysis of the market. As part of this video, we are going to discuss the following four important pointers in detail, which are related to candlestick and trading. First, what is a candlestick? Second, volume of trade. Third, the six principles for analyzing volume and candlestick. Fourth, trading candlestick with volume confirmation. And now, what is a candlestick? The candlesticks are the reflections of what buyers and sellers are doing. What extent they move the price and the strength behind the move. Candles tell you who is in control but do not tell you about the strength of buyer or sellers behind the move. Candle with volume shows that. The open. 
open price tells us where the balance between buyers and sellers at the opening of that period, the opening value is the first trade of the day. After the traders have time to review the markets overnight, the open represents the desired position of investors to begin the day. The change from the previous close to the open is a reflection of new sentiments. Also, institutions looking to accumulate or distribute a position often place orders at the open because the open trade is often the largest most liquid trade of the day. In this way, the open might be one of the best times to accumulate or distribute a large volume of stock while minimizing the impact on the asset's price. The high. The high is the highest point the asset traded during the session. The high is the furthest point the bulls were able to push the asset higher before sellers regained control to push the asset back down. The high represents a stronghold for sellers and a resistance area to buyers. There is one exception when the asset closes on the high. It did not encounter any real resistance from the sellers. The buyers just ran out of time. The low. The low is the lowest point the stocks, bonds, options contracts, futures contracts, and all types of commodities traded during the session. The low is the furthest point the bears were able to force down the price before buyers regained control to push the price up. The low represents an area where enough demand existed to prevent the price from moving lower. The exception is when the price closes on the low. When the price closes on the low, it did not encounter buying support. Rather, the bulls were saved by the closing bell of the session. The close. Close price tells us where the balance point was at the end of the period. The close is the last price agreed between buyers and sellers ending the trading session. The close is the market's final evaluation. A lot can happen between one close to the next close. The close represents investors' sentiments and convictions of investors at the end of the day. It is the position investors desire to hold after hours when investors are unable to trade with liquidity until the next session opens. The closing price is the first and oftentimes the only price the majority of investors desire to know. The change. The change is the difference between close to close. The difference in the closing value one day versus the closing value the next day. When this difference is positive, it tells us that demand is outweighing supply. When this difference is negative, it tells us that supply is increasing beyond demand. The change is perhaps the most sought after piece of financial data on the planet. The range. The range is the spread of values within which the security traded throughout the day. The range spans between the bar's highest point and the same bar's lowest point. It is measured from the top of the bar, where resistance set into low, where support came in. The size of the range gives us important information about how easily demand can move the price up or supply force the price down. The wider the range, typically, the easier it is for the forces of supply and demand to move the asset price. And now, volume of trade. Volume of trade is the total quantity of shares or contracts traded for a specified security. It can be measured on any type of security traded during a trading day. Volume of trade or trade volume is measured on stocks, bonds, options contracts, futures contracts, and all types of commodities. How to use volume to improve your trading. In order to analyze volume and ensure successful trading, there are a five terms you need to familiarize yourself with. They include First, high volume up. This translates to more trading is currently in play at the ask, which means buyers are aggressive and as a result, it helps to identify trend changes, continuations and turns. Second, high volume down. This simply means that more trades are being made and sellers are aggressive. Third, low volume. Simply means that the quantity available is lower than the average daily quantity. Fourth, confused volume. In date rating, it refers to an algorithm which helps to identify places where ask, bid, and downside are happening. Confused volume is an important indicator which helps to show changes occurring to trends. Fifth, normal volume. In this situation, the quantity of shares or trades is at an equilibrium, so traders don't have any advantage or edge. In technical analysis, volume is an important indicator that aids traders in confirming trends and chart patterns. 
It is a common practice among traders to spend time monitoring bar charts and in particular price movement. When price movement moves up or down with relatively high volume, then this situation is viewed as strong. This means that if you are monitoring a large price movement, it is wise to check on volume and monitor to see it has the same changes. Volume is also used to confirm price action patterns for example pin bar, engulfing, double top and bottom, flags, head and shoulders. Among these patterns, there are focal points that hold important information vital to day traders. This simply means that if volume is not present to help identify the patterns as well as the focal points, the signal generated will be weak. Lastly, price is known to precede volume, and if closely monitored, it helps one form ideas regarding trend reversals. Case in point if there is a decrease in the uptrend, this helps to show that the uptrend is about to end. Six principle for candlestick volume analysis in trading. Principle number one. The length of any wick, either to the top or bottom of the candle, is always the first point of focus, because it instantly shows strength, weakness, and indecision, and most important where smart money enter. Principle number two. If no wick is created, then this signals strong market sentiment in the direction of the closing price. Smart money active there. Principle number three. A wide body represents strong market sentiment, and a narrow body present weak market sentiment. Narrow body with the heavy volume either smart money observing for continuous of move or smart money enter on the opposite direction. Principle number four. A candle of the same type will have a completely different meaning, depending on where it appears in a price trend. Start of trend, or middle of the trend, or end of the trend, or its support or resistance, or in the consolidation phase. Candlestick should analyze the context of the move. You should never try and read the market looking at one day's action in isolation. Always read the market phase by phase, and then read the latest day's action into the phase. Principle number five. Volume validates price. First, see what candlestick is telling then validated by volume, is it validating or not with the candlestick price action. Principle number six. When a particular time frame don't make sense, then move to the next higher time frame for the big picture or lower time frame for the micro structure of move. Trading candlestick with volume confirmation. This course material is rather complicated. Please follow the steps in this section carefully. I like to point out that traders should consider price and volume. Volume to identify interest level of institutional buyers and price to identify the direction of the market. You can use any time frame, but consider that amount of noise on lower time frames. Consider using 5 minute charts and above. Let's take a look at these daily candlestick patterns. Bullish pattern. This is nothing, but when current candle close is above the previous bullish candle close. This is bullish pattern, because the current candle close is above the previous bullish candle close. This is not bullish pattern, because the current candle close is below the previous candle close. This is called inside bar. Bearish pattern. When current close is below the previous bearish candle close. This is bearish pattern, because the current candle close is below the previous bearish candle close. This is not bearish pattern, because the current candle close is above the previous candle close. With the proper understanding of candlestick, you can predict what about to happen in the near future. Professional tips. First, we can't move the market, but every candle shows what smart money trying to shows. So their move trap, or genuine, is only validated by volume. Second, candlestick shows half information, another half information shows by volume. Here is the example. What is telling us? Bullish pattern. Two consecutive higher close candle. And now, let's add volume bar to this candle. Second candlestick range smaller than first candlestick range. The volume bars are red. Second volume bar greater than first volume bar. Think why the second volume bar is greater than the first one. Let me explain to you. Narrow spread candle with high volume. There are two possible explanations. If the volume has represented buying, how can the spread be narrow? First, 
either the institutional money is selling into the buying, possible reversal on near future. Second, there is a trading range to the left, and the institutional money is prepared to absorb the selling from traders locked into this old trading range. I mean breakout may happen. Let's go to the third candle. Scenario number one. First, the volume bar is red. Second, the candle is down, closing below the second candle body. This confirms the institutional selling or valid sell signal. Scenario number two. First, the volume bar is green. Second, the candle is down, closing at the top or middle. It shows that smart money testing supply and no more supply available. The third candle was buyer's volume if the fourth candle closes above the top of the second candle. This confirms the valid buy signal. Here are other examples of volume candlestick trading strategy. Identifying the best trading indicator combinations can help your trading strategy immediately improve. Technical indicators help traders analyze currencies, stocks, cryptos, and other tradable assets. With the right combination of technical indicators, you can predict whether a speculative asset is likely to increase in value. As always, if you learn something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.